what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about overall stock market and now let's get right into it dow is down 0.11 percent on the day and nasdaq down 0.85 percent s p down 0.41 percent and sip on top industrials energy healthcare basic materials and utilities and if you look at the stock market map, I mean, look at this industrials up right here. Real estate also kind of in the green. But look at this, guys. Amazon taking a beating down 2%. Tesla down 3.35%. Meta absolutely flat on the day. Google down 0.67%. Nvidia down 2.5%. AMD down. Qcom down. Microsoft flat on the day. And Apple down 0.43% on the day. And now we're going to look at SPY S&P 500 ETF. So early in the morning, we got the CPI data 830 and it was decent. And we saw a huge pop in the market. SPY went all the way up to 412, 413. But really quickly, it faded. And now it's down on the day, sitting right on top of the support 407. And that is going to be a key level to watch because below 407, SPY can come down to 405, orange line 13 SMA, and then 404.35 to fill this gap all the way down here. And then we have another gap down here at 401. So 407 needs to hold. And if that holds, we could see a run up all the way up to 412 to 416 on SPY. And now we're going to look at Triple Q. On Triple Q, I actually showed a Triple Q today on top above 318, got some 315 puts, went in the money, over the money, and still holding some runners. And I think there is more downside. Just like on SPY, it's holding 407 as a support, Triple Q holding 313. If that gives up, Triple Q could be coming down to 308 to fill this gap all the way down here. Now, if you look at my screen, we have white line 20 SMA moving up and now it's sitting right next to 313. So that is going to be a key level right here, 312 to 313 on triple Q. And that needs to hold if we're going to see this run up continuing to the upside all the way up to 322. This support right here needs to hold 313 to 312 white line 20 SMA. Below that, it's going to fill the gap at 308 and then watch out for a move all the way down to 304 red line 50 SMA. Above 313 as a resistant to watch here on triple Q, 315, also 316, and then watch out for a move all the way up to 322 on triple Q. And now we're going to look at DIA. On DIA, absolute flat day, and it's not really going anywhere. Coming down to the support, 336, blue line 5 SMA, and into closing, it's holding 336 as a support and almost ran up to 340 today. 339 high for the day and looks like we could be running up to 340 on DIA. Now as a support, 336 is going to be a key level and below that, this thing can drop all the way down to 330 and then 328.95 to fill this gap all the way down here. DIA can hold 336 as a support tomorrow. We're going to see a push all the way up to 340 to even 345. And now we're going to look at IWM, Russell 2000 ETF. On IWM, it's down 0.73% on the day, and IWM ran all the way up to 178, almost 179, and we have big resistance at 178, getting rejected, and now it's trading at close to 176, holding above blue line and orange line, 13 SMA as a support, right here, 175. So tomorrow, guys, 175 to 174, will be a big support on IWM. Below that, it could be dropping down to 172 to fill this gap down here, and then we have strong support at 170. To the upside, IWM needs to break 178, and then we could be going up to 180.61 to close that gap on top here on IWM. 
And now we're going to look at VIX. And VIX is not really moving, guys. This thing taking a massive bidding came down to almost $18 today. And look at this. I mean, this looks like a bear flag right here. Now, this thing is already down to 18. And on top of that, it looks like a bear flag right here. And if that plays out, we could see more dump off. Here on VIX, we could be going under 18, possibly down to even 17. But knowing that, you know, we have seen big move to the upside here on VIX from these levels down here, 18 to 17 bucks, you got to be careful in the market because anytime this thing breaks 20, we're going to see a pullback in the market. This is not the time, even the market looking still bullish, to go long in the market because VIX sitting down to 18, 19, 17 bucks, you shouldn't be going long in the market. If you're doing that, you can easily get burned because VIX gets a spike above 20. We're going to see a push all the way up to 23 to 26 dollars on VIX. And that means one thing, we're going to see more downside here on S&P 500. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Have a great night, everybody.